or whatever. And I'm like, what? This thing ended the last video, so this is kind of weird. But <sighs> I I just got tired of sharing. I I I know it takes time and everything, but I don't think it takes time to at least reach a, a few hundreds of people or a few thousands of people that can actually like talk to me. Like people that like, like, hey, I deal with this or hey, I need like, I just wanna help people. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to help them overnight. And of course I might not get their solutions and problems. But I'm a firm believer, and I'm a, I be, I have I'm a firm believer that my music and my videos or storytelling songs or whatever I don't even know what to call them because I don't even consider them as songs. I call them songs because that's the best way to describe it. But I'm still figuring out what's the proper word I can use for that. But I'm, I'm, I'm a firm believer that either these type of videos, the Let's Talk, or my songs, can help somebody. And I feel like it can not just help tens of people. It can help at least a hundred people, if not thousands of people. Because I'm different. Like, when on a motherfucking song do you ever hear anybody being so fucking raw the way I am? Like, I'm a bit too raw with this. I, it go, like, every artist I've heard, it go to that extent, but they kind of, like, I feel like they've stopped themselves. Me, I don't care. Not because I don't care, but because in my mind, I'm more like, yo, I bet there's somebody that needs this shit right now. Not because I'm influencing them to kill themselves. Not because I'm influencing them to take down a bunch of pills. Not because I'm influencing them to drink or anything. But because maybe that is something they just need someone else to say that will make them feel like they're not alone. And that can help them to feel like, yo, I found somebody. I get it. And from that, like, you know how Juice World, for example, what's that's one example. I'm not saying that I'm trying to be like Juice World, but I'm giving you an example. You know how Juice World, he says, like, I am popping pills, Xannies, the lean, the coke, the this, that. And the way he puts it, because of those fucking specific lyrics, some people, that shit hits home for them in their heart. That just because of him saying that and the way he says it and the way everything about it. Saves so much, so much people's lives. And that's just one way that Juice World is raw with it. Now I'm raw with my way, in a different way. Now, I'm, now I can only imagine the way if people found out this shit that I'd be talking about, speaking upon, how much people could be saved from this. Because knowing that there is somebody out there that they have people around them that don't even speak about this or barely do or or whatever that is, and then there's that one person out there in the world that is that they can relate to. Because they're speaking about something that others would not speak about. Because they just scared of, they're just scared of it or, you know. I don't know. I honestly, though, I am grateful that X existed. Because X taught me some things. Juice World taught me some things. Little Peep taught me some things. Wi-Fi's funeral, he's still alive. JTEX. Still alive. NF, still alive. Mac. Me. It goes on with so many artists that have been, that were alive or are still alive. And shout out to the ones that are still alive. But the main people that have helped me because of how they have said shit that others wouldn't really speak upon has been mainly Little Peep, Juice World, Wi Fi Funeral, JTEX, NF. There's many more, but like raw, raw, like pain was, yeah, them. So I'm a firm believer that, like, I don't know. It's so weird with this, how to like, 
And I'm not saying that I want to make it just because, oh, I want the money. I want the clout. No. I, I just want to make it and get recognized just so I can help somebody. Just so I can know that I saved a soul. I prevented them to killing themselves. Because I know what it's like when you are at the edge of the urge, verge of fucking killing yourself. And you want to tell somebody, but you know how it's going to end. You know that you can't. And you just wish you could have that. You wish you could find something or someone that could just understand it. And that was a re- one of the reasons why I started doing this. One of the reasons that I got motivated into making these videos and with the music, because I started off doing the music and then I converted into videos and that's where this the idea came up. But the main, one of the reasons that I got motivated into making this shit, into making Horses Power, and all of this just came naturally. It was just like as I kept thinking about it and how I started doing it, that just came into my head and I was like, yo, do this, do that. Was honestly because for so many years I'd go on, I'd go on YouTube, and different social media platforms, and I'd search like suicide rap, mental health rap, depression rap, or pages that I could find on Facebook or Instagram, even the mental health app, and so many different things, and I wasn't finding what could expect, speak to my mind. So I said, yo, let me put my own shit, my own pain, put my own pain in my own story and other people's and put the shit into a beat. However it comes out, however it comes out. But the main thing is the words. And now I listen to my own self and I'm like, yo, honestly, if it wasn't for my own fucking music, I don't know how I'd be able to fight through this. Because lately, one of the main person that I listen to... Of course, gotta say Juice World. Shout out to Juice World, man. Rest in peace to Juice World. But it's me. But before me was J Tex. Before anybody, definitely J Tex was the one person that like helped me, and he was one of the other reasons why I did this shit. And that's one of the reasons why I so badly out of any artist, I would want to make a song with, even if it gets out there or not. I don't even care what, how many views or how many likes or whatever. Whatever, whatever, if it comes out horrible, if it comes out great, it's with JTEX. Because JTEX was the main fucking person that motivated me in believing that. I'm, I, if he could use his pain and he got in some way into making something out of himself because he used his own pain to, and because of that, he helped others. Why? I asked myself, why couldn't I do that? Why can't I do that? No matter where I am, no matter how many years I'm passing by or currently now, no matter what happens in my life, but knowing that I have put so much out there, and in my mind, I, I've used what I have because I never have had the money to improve on the equipment or nothing, but I've used my knowledge and wisdom in my own self to promote myself, to promote my own music, to try to reach at least one soul out in this world, whether they know me in person or not. And I'm fine with that. And I'm happy. Because I know it. Because I've gotten a response to it. That I have saved a few souls. There's been a few people that are like, yo, you you have saved me. You're because of you I'm changing. You're because of you you motivate me. You're because of you this and that. And in my mind, I'm like, what, really? But if I can just do that, I I want I get motivated enough, and and even if it doesn't even happen today, yesterday, or tomorrow, or next month, or next year, but I want to believe, and that's what I guess does doesn't allow me to quit on wanting to share my music, even though I do want to stop giving up on it. But I, if I, if I have saved a few people, I can only imagine what I can do if this shit does get blown out. Of course there's going to be people that are going to come in and hate. Of course there's going to be people that are going to talk so much shit. Like there was a few, like last year, like summertime, there was a few people that were fucking commenting, like talking dumb shit like, oh, I bet he can't do this or he doesn't rap good or his style is horrible or his quality sounds hard. Like in my mind, I'm like, 
everybody's gonna talk shit. When it happens, everybody's gonna want to love and kiss your ass, even if it's real or fake. Of course, I'm not looking for one or the other. I'm just looking to save people, even myself. This shit helps me. My music has literally helped me, even currently now. That why do you? If y'all wonder why I drop so much. Even if it's a similar thing, but there's new things to that song, like those words. Like, I know some of y'all might notice and be like, damn, this motherfucker is rapping about the same thing again. But it's just kind of worded different. It's not because I'm trying to, like, repeat the same thing. It's because, one, I'm dealing with so much that I just, each day, I need a new beat that can combine with the words that I just said previous. And because, it's, I don't know, I just... Every day, I just need a new song. And lately, I haven't been able to do that because of my living situation, because of other things. But if a few things were different in my life currently, like how it was months ago or years ago, years ago, or like a year ago, or last year, should I say? It's so weird to say a year ago when we only been in this month for a few weeks. Or this year, I mean. But I'd be putting out music every day. Why do y'all think there was a point in my life, even currently, like, like even at the end of last year, I was putting out bang, 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 bang. Like, I was just hey, putting shit out, putting shit out. Because when I believe, like, if somebody comes and bumps into this or people come in, bump into this, at least they have more than fucking one song. Like, there's, like, at least fucking 900. We're almost at a thousand fucking songs or 900 something songs. Because I know because of when I started this channel... I did fucking, um, originally this channel was going to be about video games and about cars and shit, but that fell off and then this shit took a different route, but not including those videos, we're at like 900 or a thousand, like 900 to a thousand, but I would, I want to say like an, around eight or 900 something videos of just straight of this thing that I have created, but because of horse's power. So if anybody bumps into this, somebody that's new, or groups of people that bump into this, they have a shitload of variety of different fucking videos or songs that they can, like, listen to that can probably help them one day. Or in that moment. And because it helps me. Because, like I said, every single day I need a new song that can fill a void in my heart, in my soul, in my mind, in my eyes, in my pain, in my sorrow, in my agony that I am carrying, that I am feeling. That I cannot get through another fucking person, whether they're fucking famous or not famous, whether I know them in person or not in person. I just can't get the words that I want that few can, but they don't go how I want them to. They go to a certain extent and then it's just like stop right there. I'm like me hearing it from my own self, hearing what I want to hear and only I have the words that I want to listen to or hear that helps me. And because of the way I put it and everything, and I don't hear no one else putting it that way, I'm like, yo, if if I'm helping myself and I'm helping a few other people, and I can only imagine the new ones that come in, if they bump into this, which they will somehow or some way, because that's one thing I manifest for ever since I started doing this, it'll happen. And, yeah, again, sorry guys. I'm all over the place with this. I don't know, today, I just, just fucking, just this year starting with everything going on and just so much on my mind, man. And I'm like, I don't really have nobody to vent to and it sucks because like, so, like me doing this, I'm not doing it because like, oh, I want attention. I want, no, it's just, young, you know, like when you've had that one person in your life. Or those few certain people in your life that you were able to once just express everything. And now they're not around. Whether they passed away. Or whatever the fuck that reason might be. Or sometimes you just do this because you... Maybe you can help somebody else and maybe they feel how you feel. You know, there's so many reasons to it, but... Yeah, it's not me putting my personal life out there. It's more of like I just... It's, it is called for a reason let's talk because let's talk has to do with a variety of so much and that's why I just go off track with it in so many different directions and, you know but 
Yeah, like... I don't know, guys. I'm honestly, like... The few things that are keeping me going... Definitely these videos. I don't like to watch them after I make them as, like, my music, my songs. Because my songs are one thing. I hate calling them my songs because I don't even consider those things as songs. <laughs> but... Because, honestly, me making music is more of, like, me putting my story into a fucking beat. And I guess it's a song. I will call it a song for now. I'm still trying to find a proper word because I hate calling it a song. Um, but these videos, I like to wait at least like months later or a year later to watch them over and be like, damn. I know I'm going through that or damn, that, that helped me or whatever. Because I don't know what it is. I be having some words that I should have. I should be taking my own advice. Because sometimes I feel like I, if I really sat down with myself and really took advice. If I took my own advice. Holy shit. I'd probably save myself and prevent so much horrible things from happening to myself. <laughs> Honestly. But. Yeah. I, I hope. I hope these videos help you guys. For whoever watches these. And whoever bumps into this. And whoever is new to this and you ever bump into this, welcome. Welcome to the Horses Power um, show. <laughs> but for those that are around, I appreciate I appreciate everything. Like, I appreciate those that have let me know, like, yo, your shit helps me. Yo, this and that. Yo, da 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 da. I'm like, damn. Okay. Maybe I should continue. Maybe I should be here. Maybe I do have a purpose. I don't know. Lately, I've been trying to just tell myself I have a purpose. Because your boy, between you and me, between me and me, me between me and y'all, I've been at the edge. Like, pretty bad. Your boy wants to let go. I want to give up. But no bitch niggas yet. <laughs> like Etika, Etika said it first. <laughs> I'm not on a real note though. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to let go. But the few things that have been keeping me here, music. But before any of all that, God. God. Angels, my guardian angel, my grandma, my aunt. The promise I made. To those that are suicidal, that I no longer want to attempt suicide and don't want to kill myself. Because if y'all give up, at least I want to be one of the few people that are left in this planet to fight for y'all. And that's that's legit. And that's another reason why I haven't. And because of other reasons as well. Um, my family, my friends, whether I don't know if they truly do love me, if they truly do care about me. Because I don't know their actions and words be. Same with my family. Same with a lot of people. But. I don't know. I also think about like damn. I don't want to. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave pain behind. But sometimes it gets difficult. But yeah your boy. He, your boy's been going through it. I've been really like going through it. Like a lot. But. I'll be fine. One way or another. It's just. An ugly storm I'm going through. I hope y'all fight too. I hope. No. Just gotta keep pushing. No matter how ugly it is. Just keep pushing. Because what you're going through right now. Won't be what you'll be going through years later. You might be bumping into similar consequences. Or um, similar things that are like. That you're probably facing now. But. The doors and the journey you'll be taking and the path and the success that you'll be having, is it'll be different. And who knows, from you trying so much from here to the future, you might get an opportunity to a better life that you didn't even thought could happen. You might gain more of yourself and out of life and of so much more than what you could than what you thought was to happen or what you thought could have happened. You know, that's that's why I give the benefit of the doubt to myself and life and people. 
because I wanna I I wanna continue to believe that no matter how shitty it is, that it can get better someday. I don't know, but definitely these videos, the music is something that's helping me, and yeah. But on that note, take care, be safe, keep fighting, keep your head up. <laughs> Have a good day, y'all. And I don't know, I'm out of words. <laughs> be safe, y'all. Take care. And Happy New Year's. <laughs>